A thin rectangular sheet metal. A thin rectangular sheet of metal has mass capital M and sides of length A and B. Use the parallel axis theorem to calculate the moment of inertia of the sheet for an axis that is perpendicular to the plane of the sheet and that passes through one corner of the sheet. So you can see our rectangular sheet here. So one side has length A. So if I draw X and Y axis so that the origin is at the center of the sheet, uh, this intersects the sheet at A over 2, the Y axis intersects the sheet at B over 2. And uh, Z axis is basically the a rotation axis that goes through the center of mass, but we would like to know uh, the moment of inertia with respect to an axis that is parallel to the center of mass uh, rotation axis. Uh, it's located at a corner. And if I'm at a distance r from the center, <clears throat> I'm going to have at position x and y uh, the uh, sides of the uh, mass element here will be dx and dy. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, if I calculate the moment of inertia for a rotation axis that goes through the center of mass, uh, this will be integral r square dm. I have to identify, first of all, the mass density. The mass density for a two-dimensional object, such as a sheet, is uh, called sigma, which is, uh, for a uniform mass distribution, will be equal to the total mass, uh, capital M, divided by the area A times uh, B. So it is mass divided by area or aerial mass density. So if I look at this uh, incremental uh, mass uh, at location x and y, it will have a differential mass dm, which will be equal to the mass density sigma times dx dy, which is uh, the area of that element. So it's basically sigma times uh, dA. And this will be equal to, because sigma is capital M over AB, capital M divided by AB, dx dy. So if I calculate the uh, moment of inertia for a rotation axis going through the center of mass, this will be an integral for uh, y changing from minus b over 2 to plus b over 2, and x uh, ranging from minus a over 2 to plus a over 2, r square. Well, you can see that r square will be equal to x square plus y square uh, because of this uh, right triangle here. So th we will have r square substitution x square plus y square, and for dm, so r square dm, uh, dm we substitute capital M uh, divided by ab dx dy. So we have set up this integral now. We can perform the uh, x integration. So we leave the y integration for minus b over t 2 to b over 2. So the integral of x squared dx will give us x cubed over uh, 3. So let me uh, do that integral over here. Integral from minus a over 2 uh, to plus a over 2. Um, x squared plus uh, y square. Uh, this is a uh, r square uh, dx. This integral basically gives me a uh, x cube divided by 3 plus y square x, which would be evaluated between a uh, minus a over 2 to plus a over 2. So this integral is 1 over 3 a cube over 
8 minus minus a cube over 8 and then I have plus y square uh, a over 2 minus minus a over 2 plus a over 2 so this gives us a cube divided by uh, so we will have 2 a cube over 8 which is a cube over 4 multiplied by 3 a cube over 12 plus a y square so I substitute that result here and this will be a cube over 12 plus a y square uh, dy multiplied with capital M over a b so capital M over a b dy all right now uh, we can continue by taking the uh, integral uh, for y so i center of mass will be equal to so the y integral we, we will have a cube over 12 times dy integrated will give us a cube over 12 times y a cube over 12 times y plus the second term a y square when integrated will give us a y cube over 3 a y cube divided by 3 which is to be evaluated between minus b over 2 and plus b over 2 and multiplied with uh, so this will be multiplied with capital M over a b so that will give us um, a cube over 12 b over 2 minus minus b over 2 will give us a b plus um, a over 3 multiplied with a b cube over 8 minus minus b cube over 8 which will be b cube over uh, 4 and this will be multiplied with capital M over a b so this will give us um, a cube b divided by a b will basically give us uh, b uh, a square and uh, a b cube divided by a b will give us a b square the denominator is common it's 12 for both of them a square plus b square over 12 multiplied with capital M okay now <clears throat> We can uh, utilize this result uh, to calculate the moment of inertia for the parallel axis. Parallel axis uh, will have a moment of inertia i center of mass plus m d squared, which is where d is the distance between the two parallel rotation axes. Now you can see that uh, between the z axis and this parallel axis here, the distance between them is d and because this side is b over 2 this side is a over 2 it's a square over 4 plus b square over 4 is equal to d square so if i uh, complete this uh, right triangle here you can see that uh, this is the according to pythagorean theorem d square is a square over 4 plus b square over 4 so substituting that here for I center of mass, I have capital M multiplied with A square plus uh, B square divided by 12. And then I have capital M D square, which is capital M A square over 4 plus B square over 4. So this is my parallel axis theorem. And that gives us for the uh, rotation axis at the corner, um, a square plus uh, b square over 12 but now I have uh, a square over 4, it will be 3a square over 12, so plus 3a square plus 
3b square divided by 12 and I have the common denominator 12 here so I multiplied top and bottom with 3 for both terms and so this is also multiplied with 3 and this multiplied by capital M so that gives me my final answer as capital M divided by uh, 3 a square plus b square because I will have here 4a square plus 4b square 4 divided by 12 will give me 1 over 3 so this is my final answer for the axis at the corner okay so uh, in this example uh, we have a thin rectangular sheet metal uh, which uh, for which the mass distribution is not mentioned so by default I assume it's a uniform mass distribution for a uniform mass distribution mass density Sigma is capital M total mass divided by the total area of the rectangle which is a B and if I consider a mass element on this uh, sheet uh, it's uh, which is at a distance X and Y from the center uh, that's going to have an area dx dy and it will have a corresponding mass sigma times dx dy so m over a b times dx dy now i start with calculating the moment of inertia for a rotation axis that goes through the center by calculating integral r squared dm uh, r the distance between my mass element and the rotation axis is uh, part of this uh, right triangle where, where r square is x square uh, x square plus y square using Pythagorean theorem and for dm I substitute uh, my result capital M over a b dx dy when we perform this integration x and y separately we reach a, a square plus b square or 12 times m then we use parallel axis theorem which says that for an axis that is parallel to the center of mass rotation axis you need to add capital M D square to, uh, to your result for the center of mass rotation axis where D is the distance between two parallel rotation axes so this is my Z axis and this is my parallel axis and that D is part of this right triangle so D square is A square over 4 plus B square over 4 and if I substitute that here, I obtain my final result, capital M over 3, A square plus B square.